man boys what is going on welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet again another down bad video but this isn't just any other down bad video this is a very special down bad video for one particular reason and that reason is in exactly three days from now on december 12th will be the one year anniversary of when i started the down bad series with what's it like to be down bad I I didn't even number the series because I had no idea what this series would turn into for me at the time. I definitely did not think one year later I would still be here making these videos all the way at down bad I believe this is number 25. So if any of you guys watching this video did not watch the original down bad video I definitely would recommend you do so. It's not the best video I did make it a year ago and my content definitely has upgraded over the past year but it is a very special video to me and it is at 10.1 thousand views now one more thing i really wanted to say before we dive into this video many of you know i did get banned on tiktok about two months ago and no don't worry this is not a tiktok promotion but i did start uploading on tiktok again i'd say a little over a month ago probably like 33 days barely over a month ago at this point and my down bad clips have been doing fairly well over on tiktok but i have been getting a lot of comments over on tiktok saying that i read out the messages in my down bad videos very robotically and i should attempt to fix that and i'll probably get more views if i do so now the views aren't really an issue but i did want to ask you boys over here on youtube do you agree with that statement do i read out the messages fairly robotic because personally i I do kind of agree. I think I talk into the mic robotic as it is and it is something that I think I need to work on but I'd like to know what you boys think and I'd like to know what you boys think with every video in the future or any gripe you might have with the way I make videos. I always want to upgrade my content and make it better for you boys over time so any constructive criticism you boys may have for me I am absolutely willing to take so anything you boys would like to see me upgrade on whether it's the way I talk or anything like that definitely let me know down in the comment section or let me know on discord twitter just let me know and it's definitely something I'm willing to work on so let's go ahead and start these messages off with an absolute banger. We don't have any names in this message, but you can see that the messages started off at 12.47 p.m. And let me tell you, if you get a DM at 12.47 p.m., it's not going to be a good one. That's for sure. So the DM starts off with, hey man, can I talk to you about blank? The guy comes back with, I guess so, what about her? And my man says, I've been talking with her a lot and we've grown pretty close. I know you're her boyfriend and all, but I was gonna politely ask you if you could break up with her. I just really feel a connection to her and she would be happy with me. Bro, what the fuck? Before we even get into these messages, I really just have to ask you boys. What would you do if you were in this situation? If you randomly got a DM basically at 1 a.m. in the morning saying you should break up with your girlfriend because some other dude wants to get with her, what are you doing? For me personally, there are two different scenarios where I would react in two different ways if this was to happen to me. The first scenario is I'm a assuming these two are probably in high school, maybe even younger, but I'm going to assume like high school and he just sees his girlfriend at school every single day and she probably just talks to him being nice, blah, blah, blah. And he's a little fucking freak thinking she likes him. But the second scenario is that these two are fully grown adults and that means his girl has been kicking it with my mans. So it really depends on the situation that I am on how I'm going to act in this situation. If we're in high school I'm probably just gonna make fun of the kid every single day for the rest of the year until he completely regrets hitting me up about my girlfriend but if we're fully grown adults well my girl gotta fucking go you got me fucked up thinking you're hanging with a dude enough for him to think you're trying to fuck with him now he's in my dms talking about break up with your girl yeah I am gonna break up with my girl bro the fuck but nonetheless no matter what the situation was we're gonna have to go ahead and stamp a big fat 
down bad right on this dude's forehead because even if his girl was trying to fuck with you, there is no reason to hit up her boyfriend. If she's trying to fuck with you, fuck with her on the low. And if she really fucks with you, she'll break up with her boyfriend for you. But for you to go out of your way to hit up her boyfriend talking about break up with so-and-so because she fucks with me, that's down bad. That is the definition of down bad, bro. You're so down bad that you're trying to get my mans to break up with this girl so you can get with her because clearly you can't get with her anyway else, which is pathetic. Believe me, young kings, if you want to go the route of getting with a girl that has a boyfriend, if she truly fucks with you, she's not going to be worried about her boyfriend. She'll definitely mess with you behind his back. And if she's not doing that, then she don't fuck with you, bro. But you boys have to remember one very important thing. A hoe will always be a hoe. So let's say that this girl was fucking with this guy and he was able to get her by getting her boyfriend to break up with her. Let's say that actually happened. What makes you think that she won't do the same thing to you with another guy? Like, honestly, if she did that to you, she will do that to someone else. There is always someone better than you, someone better looking and someone with more money than you. Always. You are never never the best looking person in the world, you are never the richest person in the world. There will always be an upgrade to you. There's an upgrade to me. There's an upgrade to everybody. What makes you think she won't do it again? You boys have to think about that when you're fucking with these hoes, man. So these next text messages are to Lauren and I'm not gonna lie, your boy almost fucked on a Lauren back during 2020 when I still lived in my old town. And I'm not gonna lie, this Lauren was pretty bad though. I will admit she dumped makeup on her face so i don't know what she looked like with no makeup she could have been a freaking troll i don't know but with makeup when she was all booted up or whatever she was pretty fire i'm not gonna lie bro i'd give her like an 8 7.5 at least minimum 7.5 like she was pretty fire you know what i mean she was like 5'5 five, five, tan blonde hair like she was pretty fire i'm not gonna lie she ended up sliding over to my crib but your boy was actually busy making youtube videos so i made her come over super late and by the time she came over we only had about like 30 minutes or something to kick it before we had to go do something else so i ended up fumbling the bag but i fumbled the bag because of youtube so i guess we could say it was worth it so the messages actually start off with the dude but he says do you have a date to the winter formal she says no my man says me neither that sucks he comes back with crazy idea i know who you could go with smiley face she says who the guy you are talking to right now with another smiley face she says i'm not talking to anyone right now my man's comes back with like over text with another fucking smiley face and she just straight up says i don't text damn bro she is dodging my man shots like the fucking matrix right now she is doing whatever she can to dodge every single shot he is trying to take and though that probably does suck i mean her name's fucking lauren and she hasn't gotten a date to the winter formal whatever the fuck that is so she obviously isn't that fucking bad bro like she clearly ain't a fucking 10 so i'm going to assume that you at least had a slight chance of taking this girl to the dance but if we go ahead and take a look at your messages we can very clearly see that you asked her like a bitch and she doesn't want to go to the dance with a bitch i mean there is always the small chance that you are just a little weirdo and she didn't want to go with you in the first place but you have her number so she must know you or like you enough to give her your number i'm sure if you would have went about this situation better you would have had a chance to take the girl so let's go ahead and break down these messages so i mean the messages start off pretty okay you asked her if she had a date to the winter formal she says no but right there right after she says no that's your time to shoot instantly you can just go let's go together let's link up let's slide together something bro something chill but instead you decide to act like a bitch and go me neither like okay you think she fucking cares bro if she cared she would have asked you originally i promise she don't care so she hits him with the that 
that sucks because like I said, she doesn't really care at the end of the day. And my mans decides instead of just straight up asking her to the winter dance, he tries to lead her into asking him. Like, listen, bro, if she wanted to ask you to the dance, I'm pretty fucking sure she would have done it, my guy. Or at least hinted at the fact she wanted to go to the dance with you. But instead, you're over here doing what she should have been doing to you. You're trying to hint to her that you want to go to the dance with her, bro. Like, uh, what are you doing? Then he says, crazy idea. I know who you could go with, smiley face. And at that point, bro, you just fucking lost. I can tell you right now that if a girl sees you send a fucking smiley face, it's over. She's not going to want anything to do with you. And she's probably going to think that you like boys because that is a straight female thing to do. That's what females do when they're interested in you. They go out of their way to type a smiley face. Guys don't fucking do that. And if you do that to a girl, she's gonna notice and she isn't gonna fuck with you, bro. I promise. So at this point, these last couple messages were just completely L's. Again, if you're doing this, trying to lead her into asking you to the dance, she probably doesn't want to go to the dance with you, bro. Believe me, man, as a guy, you should never be worried about who you're gonna go to the dance with. If you want to go to a dance with the girl, ask her. If she says no, then move on with your day. It's a stupid fucking school dance and more than likely these two are in high school which means it's gonna be a really fucking bad school dance. Nothing fun happens at the high school dances. The fun shit starts during prom. But with that being said boys that is actually where I'm going to end the video. If you boys enjoyed the video drop a like on the video comment down in the comment section. I know I only talked about two screenshots in this video but I went super in depth on the first one. My bad. I talked about that one for like four minutes. My bad boys. There will be more screenshots in the next one. I'm going to read out my members really quickly and I'm going to dip. So we got Quincy J, Charles Ware, and the Archive Guy. As usual, I do appreciate you boys hanging around as members. It's absolutely dope. I have been working an insane amount the last couple of weeks. Last week, I actually worked 55 hours. So believe me, I am squeezing in YouTube every free second that I possibly have. It's just very little free seconds that I actually have. I do appreciate you boys sticking around. I do hope that one day YouTube can become my full-time job and I don't have to work 55 hours a week in order to be making enough to not be broke you know what I mean but I'll keep working at it I appreciate you boys supporting that dream and hopefully one day we can make it I will see you boys in the next one peace